Hi, today I'm going to talk about the modifications I made to my Easy Load Pick a Bed Extender Bar that I'm going to use to transport my Malibu X Factor Kayak. Now, the X Factor Kayak has a V shaped front and back end or bow and stern, which tends to make it unstable uh, when you transport it normally in the back of my pickup truck. So, what I came up with is this cradle system that holds it in a steady position, and I'll show you. I did that. This is normally where my easy loader extender bar sticks out from the back of the pickup truck. And what I did was I took this three quarter inch inner diameter pool noodle along with a three quarter inch wide steel flat bar. And I just threaded the flat bar inside the pool noodle. And that's how I formed this part of the cradle. Originally the cradle was flat, so what I did was I took these two 5 inch stainless steel U-bolts and connected it to the cross section of the T-bar. Once that was done, I went ahead and by hand bent up each side of this cradle so it would match the underside of the kayak. And how I determined how the shape should be was I measured from the back of the pickup truck to where the kayak will sit and how much it extended. And once I figured out exactly where this T-bar sits underneath the kayak, I just went under there and figured out what the curvature needed to be and I matched it. So that's this part. Then I made the second part of the cradle here, and that's going to sit up here in the bed, in the front. And this is going to be supporting the back end of the kayak. And this is made from 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, and again, some more of that pool noodle. And I made this so that it comes apart for easy storage, and also just in case you tear one of these noodles, you can replace them. Here. And you can see it comes apart. These four sections are the only parts of this cradle that I didn't use PVC cement on to keep it tight. Now, to figure out what this distance from here to here is, I needed to get underneath the back end of the kayak and figure out where I wanted to mount this cradle. And then what's also important is you need to know what height it's going to be due to the bottom of the kayak. Now you can really try and measure and, and get it all scientific and stuff like that, but what I found was I just got some rough measurements under there and then just went in there and fit them and cut them to fit until I got it the way I wanted it. So what I'll do is I'll go into the kayak right now and show you what I was looking at. Okay, this is a better view of the rear cradle, and I used the strap just to hold it in place. And this is looking forward from the back end, and you can see where everything lines up. And I'll pan under it a little bit more. And that's what it looks like. So I hope that helped. Okay, so now I have the kayak loaded onto the cradle system that's in the back of my pickup truck. So this is looking at it from the back. And I'm going to spin around to the side here. And underneath the front to the easy load extender. And you can see how that cradle is under there. And then I'm going to go around here. And here's the cradle that's more towards the front. And if you look underneath there, this is what it looks like from underneath the kayak. And you can see the way I have those crossbars, they go 90 degrees to the little uh, foam supports that are underneath the kayak, and that helps it make a little bit more stable. So we'll pan out. And you can see how it sits. So it worked out really well. So if you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comment section. Thanks.